Masters of the Universe Revolution, and it's this part series that Kevin Smith is doing on Netflix. With your host, Pablo Gunner. And the ambassador. I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but I just feel like this one was rushed. I feel like maybe the previous one, whereas that one seemed like it maybe took too long, this one felt too rushed. Even though they built, built up to it from previous seasons, because I didn't rewatch it, it didn't feel deserved necessarily. If you remember, this one's focusing on tech. That lady, and she uses tech to infect Skeletor, and so now Skeletor is controlled by her. There's the main dude that's kind of like all controlled them. The stuff that they do is pretty solid. It just, it felt rushed. It just felt like it happened really quickly. I think maybe if I rewatch the other parts, it wouldn't feel that way. But the way that this one, because I watched this all in like, I wouldn't even say a full day. It was within like a few hours. And the kids weren't too interested in it. And that's the thing too, is I feel like this one kind of seemed, because of the lack of development, it almost seemed like it was more for kids than it was for me or for older people, uh, not, or, you know, like older than kids, right? Like teens and, and tweens and stuff. But at the same time, it didn't capture their attention that much, right? Like Shelby was asking me about the battle cat because it's a cat, right? Like she loves the tiger and she's like, oh, that's cool. What's that, daddy? You know, and she wanted to know about it. And that was cool. But that was like really it that she cared about. And it's like, if you're going to have that focus where it's like, it kind of seems it's like it's a little more on kids, but you didn't enough. And this late in the game, like, I don't know. It just maybe I need to rewatch the other parts to make you really feel deserved. But overall, it was pretty solid. It, it, I think it's it's worth watching, but it's not a must see. You don't actually have to jump on it. Like I liked it and I enjoyed it, but this one felt weaker. Me and maybe because the other one was so epic, right? With Tila and stuff, and there was some epic part, and they and they kind of changed things, kind of upgraded their stuff. But it's like it's kind of hard to upgrade their designs. Like they're already they they're so iconic. They look so good. They're so epic that when you changed it, it's it didn't feel like an upgrade. It kind of felt like a downgrade in a sense because it's like, no, the classic is just so, it's such so great, you know? Yeah. Like change the sword and change the symbol and, and like the outfits and, and their looks was fine. I'm, I'm fine with that, but it's like changing their symbols and, and their weapons and stuff was just kind of weird. Yeah, one of the big things that's hard to do with uh, seasons or uh, parts is you have to try to make it at least somewhat standalone because when you don't, it makes it so if you watch that part and not the previous stuff, it makes the pacing feel off because you're seeming like you're skipping through the story even if you've already seen that part of the story. It's just the perception because you're not going to have that completely fresh and so it's going to be good when you watch it from beginning to end but it's just not going to be good as a standalone. Right. Yeah, no, I, I, I completely agree. Yeah, for sure. 